What's up, Test Drum Mike? Uh, this is uh, Star Charger, and uh, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, make a video on a little discovery for offensive pressure that I went ahead and discovered with Catwoman a while back when I was just tinkering with her in the training room. It's uh, proven to be pretty useful thus far, and quite frankly, I suggest anybody using Catwoman to really look into this. Alright, uh, one thing I've noticed a lot of people not using, amongst other things, I'll get to them in other videos, hopefully, and uh, please forgive the quality of this video. This is my first time recording with my webcam, so please bear with me. I'll try and upgrade quality sometime soon. But uh, for the time being, uh, I'll go ahead and show that uh, Catwoman actually has a little bit of a 50-50 knockdown setup that's absolutely unteckable. You know, here's what I mean. One of her strings, light forward, medium, or in Mortal Kombat notoriety, is uh, one forward two, is uh, actually a hard knockdown string, a uh, high followed by an overhead, like so, that leads to the opponent being flattened for, let's see how many frames. 43 frames, what do you know? So it leaves you at 43 frames of advantage worth where you can go ahead and set up some pretty nasty 50-50 game that I've pretty much uh, been hinting at over time as being called a vortex. A hard knockdown down vortex that Catwoman has at her disposal. Now, you know, those of us that have come from Mortal Kombat have seen, you know, vortex vortices, you know, like what uh, Scorpion had. And uh, those in Street Fighter, you know, obviously know about Akuma's Vortex, but, you know, whether you want to go ahead and compare it to what they've got it remains to be seen. But she's got two different ways of going ahead and setting this up. One of them, of course, is going ahead and seeing if they can just go ahead and get the one for two string. And just downright stuffing your opponent on wake up. See that? I have Deathstroke set to do that mighty sword flip that people love to go ahead and use on Wake Up, and it got stuffed on that jump attack after he got flattened. Alright? And, uh, other options Catwoman has coming out of this, you know, have really, have really led to this becoming quite a valuable asset to her rushdown in general. You know, she's got awesome high-low game and awesome overheads to go ahead and go along with it. And uh, to go ahead and highlight her low game, we go ahead and use a uh, back one, two, down three, or in Justin Sturm's back light, medium, down heavy, which is a low, mid, low string. You know, very fast, very tricky. And if your opponent, you know, can try and uh, read that, you know, while you're, they have to look out for her back two, or in this case, back medium. Then uh, you know they have a you have a legit overhead low game that people really need to look out for whenever you nail them with that jump attack coming from the vortex. But uh, one thing that she's also got that also helps out with uh, stuffing people that want to mash buttons when they get off the ground when they're caught in this is to actually go ahead and uh, you know stuff them at their own game. Uh, one thing that you, one, two ways that you can do this is actually by using her forward heavy or her back heavy and uh, meter burn that for some armor. Her forward heavy, her overhead, which bounces and allows for a full combo. And then you got her, it won't work on the sword flip, but you know, this is just to go ahead and demonstrate that if you want that little boost. You know, go ahead and use the back heavy, and I'm going to burn that, and that'll go ahead and give you some armor to go ahead and cancel that. Another cool thing you can go ahead and use with this mechanic is that you can actually, when they come up off the ground, and they try and use their wake-up attack, you can use that armor to flash parry through their wake-up attack, well, depending on how many hits their wake-up attack has to its credit, and uh, you can actually dash cancel that and punish them by forward or back dashing in the direction that they decide to go ahead and use that attack. So, let me demonstrate this. Full combo punish. Alright, now, for combos, 
you know, you want to go ahead and get this obviously whenever you've got your opponent in a combo. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a couple of bread and butters that end with 1, 4, 2 to go ahead and set up this vortex so you can see just, you know, what kinds of things it can go ahead and lead for you. So uh, let's see what we can do here. See, you can also set up a little bit of a crossover game should you miss the one forward two. If you miss the one forward two during your combo, don't despair. Chances are you're going to wind up on the other side and your opponent will miss the input for their command. But, you know, obviously you want to get this set up, so let's see if we can do it without dropping the combo. See, stuffed him right out of his wake up attack. Alright, so you're left at so much advantage that most wake up attacks will wind up getting just downright stuffed when you've got the active frames of your jump in, you know, connecting on them as they're coming up off the ground. And uh, very good for fuzzy guard setups as well, and we'll get, go ahead and get into those another day. But for right now, let's go ahead and see what we can do, you know, in terms of her high low game. See if we can go ahead and mix that in there with this uh, wake up mechanic on. You know. Yeah, got the low, and from there you can go ahead and special cancel into your cat dash, and set up another one, and uh, or you can go ahead and do your one four two, and follow up from there. Now from back to one thing you can do to make things easier. I messed it up there. You have if the timing's very strict, but you can get the enhanced cat dash going. There we go. really rock their world from there. Alright, and should you think your opponent is, you know, you know, reading your high-low with the back two or the back one, the low, uh, for your jump attack, you know, and they like to go ahead and hit some buttons, one other thing you can go ahead and do is just go ahead and follow up with either the 3-3 three, three back, three, three back two, or in this case the heavy, heavy back medium which goes ahead and delivers a nice little overhead or you can go ahead and do your heavy and your, your uh, heavy heavy and your cat snags another good little option you know another you know good little option you have off your jump attack should you get your vortex going is a uh, heavy heavy cat stance and your cartwheel cartwheel is only negative three on block so that's a good little move to go ahead and keep your opponent guessing, but should you connect on it, leaves you them open for a full combo. Alright, so this didn't follow up well there, but let's see if we can go ahead and get a sustainable vortex going. So you see, basically your opponent has to guess big time on just what it is they want to go ahead and do uh, whenever they go ahead and come up off the ground from using that light forward medium. And should you, uh, should you go ahead and do your jump attack and actually want to follow forward with another light forward medium, probably set up another one in the cheapest way possible without needing a combo, just realize that whenever you use that move and they block it, you are at plus three. So uh, you can attack and move first if you so choose to do so. You know, just keep that in mind. You know, another thing to go ahead and take into consideration when using her vortex is this. It's very meter reliant. You need to have some meter if you want to really make this, you know, a very effective tactic to use 
you know, when you're in a match. Because uh, having that armor necessary for that enhanced overhead, the enhanced stage transit, whatever in the world you want to go ahead and do on your opponent, say, you know, say you want to go ahead and do that. Or if you want to just go ahead and do and set up a neutral game, neutral jump game. You know, neutral jump on Deathstroke Sword Flip won't work very well, but setting up a neutral game on certain characters will actually do you a lot of good. You know, and uh, in case you're, you know, like right here at full screen, or not full screen, but like a quarter screen away, and you know they're going to be doing a wake-up attack, her forward light light string, you know, actually helps to stuff certain wake-up attacks. You know, let me go ahead and demonstrate that. Right there. If you're fast enough with this, one thing you can do, you can stuff it while he's on the ground. Like right there. And apparently, I didn't know this before, but the cat claws can also stuff a wake up attack on the ground as well. So, uh, some things that you want to go ahead and keep in mind. So, if in case you want to go ahead and try this. And uh, one thing on uh, certain hitbox characters where if you go ahead and get the knockdown, let me go ahead and turn off the wake up uh, so that we can see if we can demonstrate this. Is, uh, you know, whenever you get this hard knockdown, you can actually use it to set up a cross up game. And uh, the best way to set up the cross-up game, because one forward two will always keep you on the same side as your opponent when you jump. And I hate to go ahead and expose that right now, but, you know, people are going to figure that out eventually. One way, the second way you can set up this vortex, not even using the light forward medium. The second way you can do it is just by using the cat dash and having all day to set up your jump. Alright, and going from there... You know, usually you, the optimal choice is to go ahead and follow through with your combo if you want to go ahead and do your cat dash, and uh, rightfully so, you know, but if you're in one of those situations where your opponent's got a clash, and you don't want them to clash, this is the next best alternative to go ahead and really uh, keep them guessing, not just with that clash, but also with their meter on how they're going to get out of your next mix-up, because Catwoman's bag of... Uh, 50-50 mix-ups with her back two, her back one, and her armored uh, overhead in these situations, these hard knockdown situations, you know, make it very difficult for her opponent to go ahead and adjust on the fly. And it's really up to you as the player with Catwoman to go ahead and mix these up and not really get too predictable with your approach. Another way to go ahead and really keep somebody honest if you just want to go ahead and go through with your combo string is actually invest in uh, using your overhead cancel you know, your meter burn overhead cancel. It costs two bars if you go ahead and do your string like a 112 or a Ford 112. In these situations, that, uh, or even in some cases, I usually go ahead and do the overhead cancel with the back, the back 1 2 uh, down 3 to go ahead and keep them guessing with that overhead and the load. You know, keep those in mind, you know, like so. Let me, let me demonstrate. Yeah, like that. You know, they might, you know, they think the low is coming. Next thing you know, you surprise them with that overhead, and the only thing they're thinking is, what the hell just happened? You know, it costs two bars. It's a very expensive thing to do, but, you know, it's one thing that I suggest doing if you, A, made your opponent waste their clash already in the fight, and you put them in the vortex, and B, you know, if you're actually willing to go ahead and, uh, if you're just willing to go ahead and say, shoot, I'm going to be only at negative one if this gets blocked, and I'm going to be at enough of a pushback distance to where it's not really going to matter either way. So, you know, it's something that, you know, it's costly, but it's something to look into. It's definitely something that you shouldn't just disregard. Another hard, hard knockdown attack Catwoman's got, of course, is a whip. And this allows her some time to dash in and jump in or d dash in and uh, try and cause some pressure. You know, when you do two dashes, you can try to go ahead and do the armored overhead if you want, but, you know, I think you're probably going to go ahead and get caught before that gets started, so I wouldn't chance that. Right, 
let's do, let me uh, show you just what we can do here. All right, so that was a ambiguous cross up setup. messed up on the enhanced cat dash coming back but you pretty much get the idea when you ever have somebody in that hard knockdown situation with Catwoman you are pretty much left in a free roaming situation where you can either stuff them when they get off the ground you can go ahead and go for your, your jump attack which in more, in more cases offline than online will stuff your opponent. And uh, then you've also got your cases where, you know, you can just go ahead and walk up to them when you've gotten them so petrified of, A, your armored overhead, or, or your overhead right here in general. You can just walk up to them and just do, do your low. Basically, when you pretty much get your opponent to where they're respecting just about every little thing you do to where when it leads to your frame traps, you know, then the rest takes care of itself. But either way, this is a serious offensive approach to how Catwoman can really cause some serious hell for our opponents up close. You know, take this as you may, you know, we'll be adjusting this, you know, as time goes on, as more and more tech is discovered. Uh, let me know what you think about this, and uh, try it out for yourself really quickly, you know, whenever you get the chance. You know, it'll, you know, like I said, in order to really make this a true scare attack and a true, uh, truly legit mix-up is to have as much meter stored up as possible so that you can go ahead and really... Uh, factor your armor into how you go ahead and approach your opponent. You know, that flash parry, keep that in mind. And also, if you just go and do your jump attack, and you just want to do your combo stream, remember your, remember your armored overhead cancel. It costs two bars, but it's worth it. Alright, so, you know, take those as you will, and in case you want to see your opponent bag dashing or trying to go ahead and do something to, you know, just backtrack out of this vortex setup when they get off off the ground, should you miss your jump in or miss your dash attempt, one thing you can go ahead and do is you can actually just go ahead and go for the stage transit. Catwoman stage transit goes half the screen. Or in this case, let's see just how, how far it really goes. Yeah, just I'd say half screen. Let's call that half screen. Armor that while they're back dashing, they're toast. Alright, so let me know what you guys think about this. And uh, uh, please remember to comment, and uh, we'll see just how well this goes ahead and works in the future. Oh, one more thing before I go ahead and cut off the video. Remember, if you can just go ahead and do your forward one, this leaves you at plus three on block. So don't be afraid to just do this and just follow up with whatever else you're going to go ahead and do because you will have the freedom to attack first. <laughs> I'm failing a little bit on the overhead combo, but either way, let me know what you guys think. Try this out for yourselves and... Uh, and uh, really go ahead and uh, let people know just what, how effective Catwoman truly is up close. Alright, so that's just about it.